Okay, today we're back on the Dynamite 2400 Mini CNC. Uh, it's a three axis CNC. It has a quill as well as a lock that basically you can slide the whole head up and down. Um, originally this thing had tiny little stepper motors with a 60 to 1 sort of gear reduction. Um, we're converting it to Centroid Acorn controller and direct drive closed loop stepper motors. So the stepper motors are a 3 Newton meter NEMA 24 framed uh, stepper steppers online a um, little bit dubious as to whether or not they're going to be big enough um, it's not too much of a problem to redo the mounts and increase the size if I need to uh, but we're going to give these a go now the first obstacle we come across is driving them in a direct drive configuration um, so this is all original this part what we've done is we've made an adapter that slides over secures through a grub screw counterboard and drives off this hub so what these have for an end float is they have a bearing in behind this hub this is this hub is split and clamps down onto the shaft then you have some nuts here to take up the end float and the second nut to lock it these don't have a ball screw they have a conventional screw with uh, uh, anti-backlash nuts basically so in order to get this to drive direct drive and maintain the backlash adjustment you could say um, there's a there's a turned turned shoulder there and basically that's turned nice fit on there drives via three M4 screws, cap head screws, which is, <laughs> it's very small, but the whole machine's small. Um, and there's no difference. This basically used to be a plastic 60, tooth gear, 60 or so tooth gear from factory. So I'm not too concerned that these will give me problems if they do. Uh, I'll just take him out to an M6, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'll just, if anyone's doing a similar sort of conversion, I'll just sort of see, show what I've done. Um, 3.8 UNC grub screw. And that's, I suppose, part one. Part two is the actual mount. So... Um, sort of quickly run through what we have here. Uh, fairly simple and basic. Um, I was going to make him out of cast iron, but I think I'll just make it out of aluminium. Due to not wanting to put an excessive amount of load and weight right out here and potentially influence on the waves. I mean, this thing's pretty good condition all things considering um, once it's all operational and running and everything I might pull it down and scrape it but for the time being it's gonna have to do I don't want excessive amounts of weight hanging right out here with the big bending moment through the gut so I'll leave as aluminium I'll maybe try and I might I might cut some more of the guts out but I think that'll it's sort of getting really as without sort of pocketing in here it's really getting as thin as it can and light as it can so 
Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that.